Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video updating probably the most common question I get. Uh, it's what tools do I use for SEO? So I use all kinds of tools. As you can see, I use Screaming Frog a lot. But when it comes to Ahrefs, SEMrush, all that stuff, it can get quite, quite expensive. Um, so this, go, this updates a video I made, I think maybe two, three years ago, about how to get access to cheap SEO tools. So the vendor I use, I use a couple vendors. This is the primary one. It's seotoolsaccess.net. I don't own the company. I have nothing to do with the company. But I'll just show you some of the tools that are available. So you can see Moz Group by SEO Tools. Whoops. Group by SEO. My internet connection is acting crazy slow today for some reason. Let me... There we go. So you can see... I'm trying to find a list of the tools here. They may not list them because they're trying to hide. Um, but you can see for Am so it's more than SEO stuff. Honestly, I just don't use these tools. For, so for e-commerce, you got Helium 10, Jungle Scout, AdSpy, et cetera. Um, so for SEO, I'll show you what it is. When I log in, these are the tools I have available for access. Now, every so often, a tool won't work because they're probably doing all kinds of proxying um, to get these tools to work for, for, for people. So, um, and if I ever have a problem, I just reach out to them on Skype and they're very responsive. I don't think it's ever gone more than maybe 30 minutes that something hasn't worked. So for right now, Ahrefs is act, acting kind of crazy. So I'm going to message them right after this video, but as you can see, I use SEMrush. So I'll click on SEMrush. And the pricing for all these tools here let me move this over. All these tools, I'm paying like $22 a month or something, right? So the downside is, for example, for Ahrefs or whatever, I think in SEMrush too, you can't do, you know, campaigns. Um, you know, you can't do save reports. Maybe you can do reports, I don't even know. But it's basically if you're doing like, if you want to do specific keyword research or backlink analysis or whatever, that's what you do. So this is just a client that I'm working with. And you can go here and let's say you want to do keyword gap analysis. You'd go here. And sometimes SEMrush is pretty reliable. Sometimes Ahrefs will get a little slow and it helps to do it in incognito mode. It will open a lot quicker. Um, so, you know, it's not a perfect solution, but for the amount of money you save, I'd say it's totally worth it. Um, as you can see, Envato Elements, AdSpy, Majestic, SEMrush, Ahrefs, ChatGPT, Word Hero, all this stuff. I forget all these things are available, honestly, like Netflix. You know what I mean? I totally forget that's available. I've never used that. What I primarily use are SEMrush, Ahrefs, and there's one more I use, I guess, Majestic at some point, but primarily SEMrush. Okay, I use Moz as well, and then Ahrefs. So it's a really good deal. It's not flawless, but the good thing is they're responsive if things aren't working. And this is what I prim like, um, this is how I primarily access Ahrefs and SEMrush, right? So, um, yeah, so it's a, it's a group buy type thing. So, you know, use at your own risk. Um, but I think for freelancers getting used to these products and testing them out, I think it's fine. Of course, once you move up the ranks and have your own agency and um, or become a multi-billion dollar company, I think you definitely do need to get full licenses for SEMrush Ahrefs, of course, because that's how you, you know, can do the full, you know, reporting and all that stuff. So hope you guys found this update useful. Um, yeah, and you can see there's an email support, WhatsApp, Skype, etc. And hope you found it useful and talk to you soon. Later.